All right, welcome back. Today we're gonna do the final part, at least final part of the lazy style of blending uh, animation states and where we left off. So we were left off over here and we had our little logic here. Now this was just for testing. I'm gonna remove this because we don't really need it. So we're gonna make a different style and it's gonna be an actual state machine. This way you don't actually have like convoluted code because this sometimes, let's say you were in a car or you were aiming and you had to hold shift to let's say aim properly. The thing's gonna go in running, especially when you're pressing W. You don't need that. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna change it and put it in here and make it into a real state. Now, how do you make a state machine? Uh, let's look at the four states that we have. We have idle, walk, reverse walk, and run. So let's just call them in here. Now, our logic was that if we were to press W, we could go from idle to walk. And if we were to release W, we could go from walk to idle. Then, if we were to press W and then press shift, at the same time, we were to go to run, and if we were to leave shift, we could go into walk. And then the last thing we had was if we were to press S or the back button, we would go into reverse, and if we were to leave it, we would go into idle. Now, this looks a lot easier than what we had before, where we had to make sure that if we press W and we press R, it worked like that and not. But what this does is it puts everything in a state. So. If you're in a state of running, you could leave W and we could go into idle. So we can have one more right here, how to get there. And that is leaving W. So just leaving W would automatically put us in idle. And if we have that in mind, this looks a lot easier than what we had before, which was like I, W, R, R, W. We had something like this, then like this, then like this, with the arrows being like this. And then we also had one like this, which basically made it look a lot more confusing. And now we had like different states and everything, and it's not too far from here, but what we did was we structured each state. So without talking too much, let's actually do this. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is actually, we're going to add a few more stuff. So first things first, let's do the blending of the weights. And then let's also add a boolean and call it is, can't spell, weight changed. And then we call it false. This makes it a little easier to track things. All right. And then we're going to add two more things. We're going to add first, we have a main state. Now what we're going to add is um, previous state. So we're going to do a previous state. We're going to do it as anim states idle. And then we're also going to do a void and we're going to do a reset wait function. All right. So what's the plan now? So if we're in idle and we were to press the, if we were to press W, we want this to reset the weight so it goes back from zero to one, and then it goes into so it, it first turns to zero, then we go into walk, and then that weight then becomes one as it plays, and then we're gonna do it from the current, which is the idle, and we're gonna turn it into the walk. So what are we gonna do here is we're gonna add a few more lines of code and we're gonna add the actual logic of clicking stuff. So let's just add this guy. Let's add this guy. So if we pressed the W button, right? so we do this and then we do an and. So if anything, we should have just copied this first actually this whole thing so if we press both of these we're gonna have to uh, reset weight so first let's reset weight all right <clears throat> once we reset weight we're gonna have to make main state uh, equals to anim states 
dot run so now it knows it's turning run maybe you write this on the second one so it's a little easier to read so it's we reset the weight we make the animate state into run and then we call the previous state equals to anim states dot idle because this is the current state that we have all right so that's if we press those two buttons together now if we were to press just w control c if we were to press just w we're gonna do the same thing we're gonna reset weight we're gonna make the previous state idle and then the main state we're gonna call it to walk all right i hate when it does this and there we go so now we have let me just do this a little bit easier reading like this this all right so now we press w this and we press both of them run and it'll go into run so now we also have it doing it this way so it's the same but here what we did was we made sure that it only cases inside the um, state itself so instead of actually checking it every second we're only going to be checking it once we're inside the certain setting all right so that's done that's done and then the last one we're going to do is we're going to just copy this and we're going to do s which is reverse walking so we're going to do the same thing now if you're a regular coder you will already see how uh, let's say if you're an experienced coder you'll already see how this is not the best way but it's certainly the easier and the more readable way so if you're someone who's new to coding you'll read this and you'll understand this immediately all right so now what we're going to do here is we're going to change this to weight all right i'm going to change all of these to weight <laughs> all right so so now if we press let's say the w button it's going to reset the weight uh, the main state turns to walk and then the previous state is the current state that we were in so now it goes into walk and then the previous state becomes the one so over here we're going to take this and we're going to switch it from the middle uh, layer player so the one where it says layer zero is going to be the previous state and then the current state is going to be the state we are in all right so we're just going to do this for all of them so now it knows that it's going to switch. So once it comes here, it's going to switch from idle to walk. All right. So that was first one. Let's do for walking. For walking, if we were to just, while we're walking, if we were to just press uh, the shift button, the shift button right here, it should go from main state to run and then the previous state should be the walk state all right so that one's a little easier now let's say if we were to release the button right so if we were to let's say release input is key up so if we were to release w main state equals to um, idle because we're releasing the button so it should go to idle and previous state should be walk all right so the previous state will always equal to the current state that we're in and then the main state should be the one that we're gonna go to once we do this command so once we release W we should be gone and I think that should be enough for W we don't really need that much uh, let's go for reverse walk reverse walk reverse walk would definitely just be if I were to release s if I were to just release s it should main state should go to idle and previous state should be the reverse walk and then for run for run we're gonna do uh, a, a two is key ups so we're just gonna do uh, 
uh, if we release the shift button and if we release the W button. So if we were to release the shift button, all right, the main state should go to walk. So we'll do the main state to walk and the current state to, or the previous state to run. Okay, and then the, and if we were to just release W, it should go to idle, which is perfect. And I think that's enough for the state settings. Yeah, that's it. So now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take our recycled code. So we're gonna use this chain state and we're gonna add this into our um, update. And then for our weight, we're gonna use our old little function, which does this. And that's just gonna keep adding on our weight until it turns to one. Now, how do we reset this? Well, yeah, we had our little function right here. So let's write it here, void anim animation state and reset weight. And we're just gonna write a simple code, which is basically is changed, is weight changed equals to true. And then we're just gonna do a simple if command that if is weight changed, meaning if it's true, then, um, then we just do a simple weight equals to zero and then is weight changed equals to false. And I think that's it. I don't need that. And let's see, let's see, let's see. So just to double check it, we're gonna just do this guy right here and press play. So now we can see the weight turn into one and it just stopped. Once I press anything, it goes into that. And then once I leave it, slowly resets. Once I press it, slowly resets. And once I'm running, walking and I hold shift, it goes into run. And then after that, if I just leave it, and as you can see, the weight resets. Oopsies. Now, remember that the running and the walking in this game or in these two animations are not in sync. So that's why you can see that little error with the feet where he doesn't know what he's doing and then he's just like trying to fix it. So if you have two animations that are properly synced, this would be flawless. But since mine's, mine are not, it's not gonna be synced. Uh, that's about it for connected between it. Now, if you wanted to switch between the weights, over here in the weights, just press times uh, two or something, right? That's gonna be double the time. And this one we could do like our own. Um, he goes into walk in like 1.7 uh, multiplier, reverse walk in like 1.65F. I'm just making random numbers, but play along with these numbers and then maybe you might find something that you like times three. And then if we try it again, pressing F5. All right, the weight went up faster. He went to idle faster. If I were to press shift, he went really fast. And then he went slow. And then... And then you could always check. So right now, if I were to just release, yep. There's a little problem with uh, switching from uh, idle to run, I believe. Or maybe it's not. But anyways, that's the basics of state machining with the lazy version using the blended lerp layer with main characters. There's like at least 15 different ways of doing state machines. You can choose whatever you want. This one I found was the most laziest, easiest way. And you could do a hierarchy with it. So this one's just for like standing. Let's say if you had like um, a switch beforehand, you could have done like something like if, 
uh, he's pressing, let's say, control, then you could do a chain state of walking, else you do a chain state of crawling. And every time you switch, you switch between the... Well, yeah, that's about it. I think the next thing we're going to do is actually... Mm, probably like guns or something. Triggers, guns, and... Um, ray intersections but until then this is about it i'll see you guys next time goodbye